you said that you were trying to still figure out things. What are those things that you're figuring out and what felt good for you today? Um, really just uh, just clearing my head and just actually just playing aggressive, just downhill and just making plays for other guys. Um, I don't really um, get too high or too long, me making shots or not. I've, I made shots all my career. I'm still trying to um, get my three ball going um, to where a percentage and you know my finishes around the rim normally make. That's just gonna come with just more reps and uh, just staying downhill. But like for me, when I say I'm figuring things out, it's more so of where I can pick my spots to um, get downhill and put pressure on the defense, and also just rebounding. And once I rebound on the fast break, then you know it's easier. And also playing with throw heads from other guys, so. Um, it's coming along for me. I'm taking it day by day. Um, but these last two games, you know, I've been playing with, you know, a different just feel, just smiling and uh, just remembering, like, this is the best job, you know, in the world. Just come here and just hoop in front of, you know, the whole D.C. So I'm just um, just taking it day by day. And 43 you attempted today. Yeah. What about the spacing today? Did you like in particular? Um, I mean, I think last game was our best offense. Um, performance almost uh, in the season, just how the ball was popping. But today, I feel like we got up threes, but some of them, um, it was stagnant offense, and uh, we was kind of preaching that. We hit, like, the stagnant point where we wasn't moving bodies. It was just one pass, one shot. And uh, we know um, going forward for us to be the team we need to be, the ball needs to be popping side to side. And um, throwing, um, you know, extra passes, in, and that's contagious. And you see with one more and – just getting downhill and swing, swing, keeping energy in the ball. Everybody um, is involved. And then on defense, it turns our defense up to an, uh, a different level. Thank you. Thank you. Say it again. Yeah. I mean, I've said it before. Brad is probably – um, one of the most unselfish guys on the team. Um, you know, if you really look at it, he's the one we run a lot through him, but he's getting off the ball and stuff like that. We just got to make shots. Um, but with Brad, we need Brad to uh, score the ball. And, um, like, we down players. They were down. They were down players. Like, at the end of the day, you know, we stepped up, but we know what Brad brings to this team. And well, Brad, not a ball stopper, you know. He a hell of an ISO player, so at times he's on the ISO and, uh, you know, get baskets for us to take this team to that next level. But like I said, like, I know if I hit Brad and he drives and two guys there, he's going to get off the ball. And it's a guy, like, um, when your best player is willing to do that, it, it takes everybody to a whole nother level. So. Obviously, you're in a similar role where Kenny's just, you know, also ball handler. Mm -hmm. From your point of view, just attacking. Um, I think we figuring out um how to play with each other now. I think it's growing. Just guys giving guys space they need, and also just like finding sweet spots and where guys want the ball. You know, with Denny attacking, um, you see a few times like you know I, I tell guys now like when I get a throw ahead and I attack just to cut to the basket. You see like if I don't have a shot or something. Somebody cutting always, and I can hit them, and vice versa. Um, we just want to put pressure on the rim, and uh, that's what Wes been preaching. That's how we can generate good threes, paint threes. So we generating good ones, and uh, we just it's gonna be a game where it knocked down a lot. Still, Monte. What's question for you? Uh, the one of the underrated aspects of your game is just how much you take care of the basketball, mm -hmm. especially at this level. Rarely seen. How are you able to just? control the rock like that in such an elite clip? Uh, really just knowing my personnel. Um, trying not to put myself in situations where um, the defense will have a better advantage than me. And um, I just know, like, tonight I knew with Adams in the game, they was going to play down the floor. So um, it was going to be hard for him to get back to KP if I disengaged. And I knew I would have my floater in between um, mid-range and uh, stuff like that. I just kind of, like, watch a lot of film and um, just try to – I really just go out there and just try to make the right play at the end of the day. I mean, basketball, it's as simple as you make it. Two, get two. You see two players right here, just throw it to the open guy. It, it seems simple and easy, but I try to play it that way. You know what I'm saying? And uh, that's how I was taught uh, growing up.
And then last year, I was talking to Coach about his game from like a 90s type back in the day game, mm -hmm. gritty, but you came away with a defensive belt. What did that mean to you tonight? Man, my, I don't know. I'm, I'm happy because, like, <laughs> I mean, I be trying out there, man. You know, I ain't the, I ain't the biggest. I be trying, man. There's some big dudes out there, but, like, I was just happy. You know, I was smiling. I was just happy they considered a little fella like me to get the belt, but I got to defend it next game. You know, I, they asked me if I'm going to bring it in with my outfit, but, no, nah, that's too much pressure. I'm going to just give it to the coaches and try to redeem it next game, but salute to KP. He selected his young his uh, young little point guard. I'm happy. Monte, as someone who's known for being a floor general and seeing yeah. the floor well, what did you see from Denny tonight mm -hmm. from, from your perspective? His confidence. I mean, when you got confidence and you got already hoop game on you, um, it's just going to take your, your talent and your level to another level. And I think these last few games, you know, he's stepping up, nailing shots. He's not second guessing it. Um, he's shooting his shot and he also defending. You know, he got to take his hat off. He um, usually guarding the most um, dominant guy, you know, that scored a ball. So for him to be able to generate offense, and also lock in on defense to just show, you know, his worth and what type of player he is. And uh, I just think – I just told him in the, in the locker room, I'm happy he called my oop because the first game of the season, he <laughs> we did some crazy stuff on there. But he redeemed himself. But like I said, Denny, the young guy, um, he was mad he missed his two free throws to get over his career high. But I told him it's a lot more games to play here. Get it. 40 three-point shots okay. were attempted tonight. What did you like about the spacing that you had on the offensive end? Uh, obviously, uh, coming into the game, they known as uh, uh, they bring a lot of help from the first guy since somebody drives. So I feel like those quick kick uh, kickouts uh, helped us get those uh, amount of frees. Uh, we just stick stick with it. I think uh, we shot great tonight and just kept kept rolling. And uh, it was it was one of those nights. So we kept shooting. That's about it. We spoke a little bit yesterday about your rhythm and how hard you worked just to get yourself back in, in that rhythm. What did you like about that today, continuing to build on that? I just like um, how everything goes. I feel like mentally staying strong, uh, uh, keep being ready, uh, always believing in yourself. You know, this is the most important. I'm, I'm enjoying the way. I'm enjoying the process. And uh, my teammates are got my back, so I'm happy. And uh, as as everybody know, I was uh, one point away from career high today. I missed two free throws, and I told uh, I told uh, one of the guys that uh, God didn't give it to me yet. That means He wanted me to stay humble. He wanted me to keep working, and and uh, I think that's why I didn't break it. But uh, I'm happy with the win, first of all, and uh, just continue like that. Hopefully. How would you describe your approach tonight and just the way you were able to stay aggressive the entire game? I'm just trying to stay aggressive in both ends of the floor. Uh, first of all, my main goal is, uh, is help the team defensively as much as I can, both on the glass and on the best player. And I enjoy doing that. And just start being aggressive on offense. Use my body, uh, um, use how tall I am, and, and uh, just creating for others sometimes too. And I'm enjoying it. And I'm just going with the flow, I guess. How fun is it to play with uh, a guy like Porzingis that can do all the things that he can do? Me and KP, has, we have a great relationship uh, off the court, too. And um, he's good. He's supporting. Uh, he's, a, he's, a, he's a great big. Like, he can space the floor, um, which is which is very good for spacing both. And uh, for it's really hard for the defense to react to that. And I'm just enjoying playing with him. He's a smart player. Danny, you had uh, you've eclipsed your season high now in three straight games. You have twelve and thirteen here tonight, uh, and then it also seems like the team has been pushing the ball in transition more these last three games as well. How much has the transition play um, helped you individually? Very important. We keep an emphasis on it too, um, to push in transition. Like if uh, the position one through four grabbing the rebound, just pushing. Uh, I think we're doing a great job of this and creating also for others, and the ball just doesn't stick, so it, it's beautiful. And uh, I think I think we should play like that all the time, and um, yeah, we just as I said, we keep an emphasis on that, and hopefully it'll continue. And obviously, you are working with Dexter Gordon too. What's the 
earthquake in Fortino when you guys were fully ultimately intact? I actually, uh, I actually twisted it again like a game ago. So, but I just kept, I just kept through it. I just want to give a big shout out. Honestly, I know they're not getting mentioned a lot, but a big thank you to our training staff, the guys that are keep us healthy uh, from the weight room to the treatment room. Those guys are phenomenal. So I think they're one of the most important guys and they don't get credit a lot. And I just love their job and how, like, how they work. And it shows on the court. And for me, it's been it's been big time because I'm hopefully knock on wood on on a on a gaming streak, which I didn't miss one. And um, hopefully for more games like that. Before this recent three game stretch run really turned it on, who are some of the teammates that are in your ear as the team push on to keep it on? Everybody, uh, everybody is want wants me to be better, wants me to succeed. Um, and I respect that, and I want the same for them too. Hey, hey Danny, just one quick one for you. In this four game stretch of uh, these four wins, what's been the biggest thing that has stood out to you so far? Just um, the focus we we bring. You know, we we uh, we just stay with it. I think we move the ball great. We play defense. We we talk on the court way more. Our chemistry is better. Uh, we're building, as I said, like it doesn't happen in one day. I think we have a lot of things to improve on, but we do it. But I feel like we're just united and we're, we're missing a couple of important guys or we can't wait, wait for them to get back to. Uh, hopefully they're doing good and uh, we just need to keep keep going. Danny, personally for you, what do you think needs to be uh, keep growing even better over the next few games? Kind of keep up this momentum that you have. Um, just keep being aggressive, um, and just, you know, sometimes just slow down a lot of times, like, um, I'm still getting in the rhythm. I rush a lot of things. Uh, it's just need to slow down for me again, um, going forward. And when the game slow down, I'll, I'll make better decisions. I'll create better. I'll do everything better, but it's, it's a matter of time and, um, that's it.